What is the first thing that comes to mind when we hear the name Donald Trump? The 45th President of the United States of America, or a host of reality TV shows who have been making headlines for their humorous or eccentric antics? Do you also know that he is one of the world's most famous entrepreneurs? From his iconic skyscrapers in Manhattan to the Trump Hotel chain, President Trump's name has become synonymous with success and luxury. But what is the real story behind how he rose to power and became a household name? In this video, we take a deep dive into President Trump's fortune, examining the rise and success of his business ventures. Discover how he built his real estate empire. We'll analyze his wealth, see what motivated him, and find out just how exactly he built his real estate empire from the ground up. You won't want to miss a single second of this exciting adventure. To start this journey, we will begin with his upbringing. Trump was born in 1946 to Fred Trump, a well-known name in the real estate business. Trump graduated from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania with a bachelor's degree in 1968. Unlike many successful people, Trump had the good fortune that he was already living in luxury. Fortunately for him, his father gave him a $1 million loan to give him a push in the real estate business. He started by buying properties outside of his hometown, including Ohio, Virginia, Nevada, and California. However, his main goal was to acquire and inhabit the posh and high society areas in New York and Manhattan. In 1971, he took control of his father's company and named it the Trump Organization. The organization shifted its business from residential plots to glamorous commercial commodities of New York. One of his first projects was transforming the bankrupt Commodore Hotel into the magnificent Grand Hyatt Hotel. But there was a downside to this project. Donald Trump did not have the kind of money to aid in this project. As a result, he used his relationship with the Hyatt Agency and his father's political dominance to get a 40-year tax abatement. In the 1980s, Trump emerged as a successful real estate developer and built Trump Plaza, a 36-story commercial apartment, and Trump Tower, a 68-story building on Fifth Avenue in the heart of Manhattan. Trump Tower was a structure devoted to luxury shopping, his residence and company's headquarters. Trump Tower remained the most popular among all his other buildings. It was the one that was most likely identified with his name and acquisitions. Moving on, Trump headed into developing casinos. During that time, gambling was legalized in casinos, and Trump led the development of Harrah's Casino at the Trump Plaza Hotel. In 1985, Trump acquired an unfinished building in Atlantic City from the Hilton Corporation and made the hotel slash casino a Trump Plaza. It was managed by his first wife, Ivana. According to Forbes, this club is estimated to be worth $325 million. In the same year, Trump acquired the Mar-a-Lago estate in Palm Beach, Florida. He originally wanted to keep the place for his winter retreat, but later took advantage of the estate and turned it into a private club with a membership of $100 and $50,000. His constant expansions also affected his company, which was on the verge of bankruptcy due to its dynamic business strategies. He later built the Trump Taj Mahal in 1990, another plaza, and called it the eighth wonder of the world. It was built at the estimated cost of $1 billion. To fund his growing empire, he took loans and exemptions from taxes. The Trump empire was declared bankrupt four times in its ruling period. In 2004, the casinos and plazas could not pay back their loans, and as a result they were declared bankrupt. His stockholding shares were reduced to 27%, and he had to give up on his role in the company. In 2009 and 2014, the casinos suffered immense losses. The casinos were not producing profit up to the mark. In 2014, the Trump Taj Mahal Hotel got closed as the parent company defaulted. The hotel was purchased by Hard Rock International Brand and was rebranded. Trump's most prestigious quality 
was his ability in maintaining his reputation for success, despite any failures and flaws. He used the country's laws and tax abatements to secure his empire. As stated by him in 2011, I've used the laws of this country to pay our debt. On the contrary, people like shareholders, investors, and creditors were primarily affected by the company's inability to thrive and produce a desired profit. By 2015, his casinos had ceased operations entirely, which was when he started his presidential campaign. Trump's interests and businesses were all housed under the name of the Trump Organization. After his success in the real estate world, he shifted his focus to the entertainment industry. From 1996 to 2015, he was the owner of several beauty contests, which included Miss USA and Miss Teen USA contests. Unfortunately, major broadcasters like Univision and NBC refused to broadcast these contests after some time due to controversy. In 2020, Forbes reported that Donald Trump owns five aircraft, including a Boeing 757 and Cetacean X. By 2022, Forbes confirmed that only three of the five aircraft were left in his name. These aircraft were worth $15 million. Apart from that, Trump has liquid assets of $375 million. Following his presidency, he founded Trump Media and Technology Group. As per Forbes, it's valued at $750 million. Now we all know that Donald Trump is a business mogul, the 45th president, and a TV host, but far less is known about his ownership of several golf courses across the country and outside. The Trump Organization harbors many products, golf resorts, licensing agreements, hotels, and so on. Most of his fortune is made up of real estate holdings, including luxury hotels in New York City. These properties are worth USD $880 million, $290 million outside New York, and $740 million in golf clubs and resorts. Donald Trump married three times. He is currently married to Melania Trump, who is a former supermodel. Donald Trump quadrupled his wealth from $1 billion to $4 billion since 1988. In conclusion, Donald Trump is a force to be reckoned with and someone who a lot of young or old entrepreneurs can learn from. That marks the end of our video journey about Trump. The story of Donald Trump is far from over, and there's so much more to uncover. So, remember to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more game-changing content from Wealth Eagle. Trust us, you won't want to miss a beat. Until next time, stay curious and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.